All right, today we had the Philadelphia Spare visiting the Louisville Lightning where we had Joe Montana with the play action for a wide open person and carrier as he's running past the 40 yard line, just stop, five yard shot of midfield. Joe Montana following play, passes it all the way to Johnny Johnson for the touchdown. Philadelphia takes the lead. Then we have Steve Young from Louisville is backing away, looking for a wide open player in Collins as he's caught it cross midfield and he stopped just over 40 yard line. Steve Young soon after passes it to Gary Clark for the touchdown. Louisville ties the game. Joe Montana following drive backs away, almost sacked, throws it to Hayes, and it was intercepted by Allen. Steve Young soon after is looking to gain the lead as he's backing away, looking for a player. He's, he throws it wide open to Collins for the touchdown. Louisville takes the lead 14-7. Philadelphia was unable to capitalize, but we have Louisville once again with Steve Young. Throws another deep pass. Caught by Anderson as he's looking. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Stopped on the 25 yard. Steve Young once again as he runs right through the line for the touchdown. Louisville is on fire. Joe Montana is doing whatever he can to keep this game alive. As he does a play action, almost gets sacked. The Hayes as he's caught, runs past the defender, runs it past the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Michael Hayes. 14 to 21. Then we have Joe Montana once again, passes it to Carrier, running it to the 20, to the 10, the five, just stopped short from the touchdown. Philadelphia is trying to score, was unable to try the first time. Second time through a motion, as it was incomplete, could have been caught. Next you had Montana running it to Foster, but was stopped short, it had no choice but to go for the field goal. Next he has Steve Young, doing he can to keep the lead as he's looking. He fires in the stall and caught by West. That was in track and was able to catch it. Next he gave the ball to Anderson soon after, ran it in for the touchdown. Then you have Joe Montana who has no choice but to go all out as he passes it to Johnny Johnson over two defenders and it stopped just at the 20-yard line as they go for the field goal because they were unable to score a touchdown soon after. They're going for the onside kick and it's recovered by Louisville where Louisville soon scores a touchdown after and it comes to an end where Louisville Lightning will be ending this game 1-0, defeating the Philadelphia Spirit 35-20. Next, we head out to Dallas to see the Rattlers and the Sharks go out in this week one contest as Mikowski starts off over the middle, completing it to Meggett as he crosses to the outside and heads back towards the middle of the field for a huge gain. Mikowski scrambles to his left, fires towards the end zone, touchdown Sharks, James Jett with the touchdown reception. After a Dallas field goal, Mega takes the toss as he heads down the sideline for a huge game, but that didn't result in anything. The Rattlers get the ball back and Kozar fires to Duncan as he gets a huge game. Kozar finds the open man and it is Holman as he heads down the sideline trying to get to the end zone, but it's a fumble recovered by the Sharks. On the ensuing play, Mikowski looking for the open man after the play action finds Meggett who bobs and weaves past two defenders to get into the red zone, but the Sharks have to settle for a field goal by Gary Anderson making the score 10 to three. The Rattlers get the ball back in Kozar having all the time in the world Fires deep and he has Duncan wide open down the sideline. Can he get into the end zone? No, but that's okay because Kozar finds Hampton over the middle and gets the job done as the Rattlers tie the game up at 10 apiece. The Sharks get the ball back and Mikowski looks to Green. It's nearly intercepted, but caught and Green runs down the middle of the field and gets into Dallas territory. Mikowski play action. Looks to Green over on the left side of the field wide open and looking for the end zone. Mikowski. Fires to Jet, who's wide open. Touchdown, Sharks. It's 17 to 10. Dallas is looking to respond, and they try to as Hampton cruises down the middle of the field with his stop short in Sharks territory. And then Kozar gets sacked by Daryl Talley, which leads to a no good field goal by the Rattlers. Then on the next possession, Mikowski going for the long ball has Jet wide open, and he is gone. Touchdown Sharks, it's the hat trick for Jet, and they're up 24 to 10. Kozar trying to get Dallas back into this game, finds Carter over the left sideline, and he gets to midfield. Then Kozar goes to the end zone towards Carter, and Carter brings it down for the athletic touchdown. Dallas now needs to get the onside kick to have a chance. Here it comes, here's the onside kick. And the Rattlers recover with a chance to tie the game. Hozar takes the snap, and he is sacked by Daryl Talley with the clutch defensive stop, and San Francisco goes on to win the game 31-17. 
So thanks to the low, low income of the BTFL, we're already broke, so why not go woke? Thanks to the bare-bones editing skills that I have, the Indianapolis Indians have become the Indianapolis Guardians. Who this man? And they're matched up against the Milwaukee Warriors in week one. We start out with Brett Favre. No one's rushing him in his face. He throws the deep pass, the rainbow pass to the Hall of Famer Jerry Rice. And arguably the best wide receiver of all time goes in for the touchdown. Guardians take a 7-0 lead. Hall of Famer Dan Marino, he hangs back. He throws the pass to Reggie Brooks and whoop! Reggie Brooks makes it past midfield, and he's in Guardian territory. Marino back to pass, he throws it over the middle, and it's intercepted by the Guardians. Brett Favre with a short pass to Sammy Smith, and then Sammy Smith gets the pitch to the left, and then he's vultured by Ron Moore for the touchdown. Next drive, Brett Favre throws it shallow to Jerry Rice, and he shows off the moves that makes him a Hall of Fame wide receiver, and then Brett Favre decides to run out of the pocket and get sacked by William Thomas. The field goal by Nick Lowry is no good. Dan Marino, he hangs back. He's got no pressure in his face. He throws it deep to Mark Clayton, his wide receiver with the Miami Dolphins. And then he'll catch the pass again in the end zone for the touchdown. The score is 14-7. Rick Fenny would get the handoff up the middle and he would power it up in motion. Dan Marino would throw it down the right side to Mark Clayton for his second touchdown of the game. The Warriors have the game tied. Brett Favre hangs back in the pocket, no rush in his face, throws the jumping catch to Jerry Rice, and then Brett Favre hangs in the pocket again, no rush, throws the check down to Sammy Smith who gets it inside the five, and Ron Moore would get the touchdown. It's a seven point ball game. Favre with the lead, throws it short to Bavaro, and he's fighting a tackle, he gets tackled, it's a fumble recovered by Tim Krumry. And then Reggie Brooks takes the direct snap, he goes whoop around defenders, getting it inside the red zone and he has the touchdown, it's a tied ball game. Warriors have a chance to finish off the Guardians and Mark Clayton catches the long pass and then Rick Fenney catches the short one. Dan Marino, he has no pressure in his face. He throws it to a diving Mark Clayton, and Reggie Bush takes the direct snap, and the Warriors take the lead. Last ditch effort for Brett Favre. He hands it off to Ron Moore, and he gets tackled. And the Milwaukee Warriors defeat the newly minted Indianapolis Guardians with a score of 28 to 21, and that ends week one of action. Thank you all for viewing week one of the BTFL season two. Make sure you join us for week two of the BTFL season two by subscribing to the PR52 YouTube channel. If you are a viewer of the highlights and would like to voice the highlights for some games, make sure you DM me at 2birds3rd on Twitter. I hope you all have a very nice day.